There are two types of errors, compile time and runtime. Compile time errors could be again classified into two types, syntax errors. For example, instead of declaring a variable integer int a, you mistakenly declare it as in a, for which the compiler will throw an error. Or you can have a semantic error, where you have declared a variable int a, and after some lines of code, you again declare an integer as int a. All these errors are highlighted when you compile your code. A runtime error is called an exception error, and is any event that interrupts normal flow of program execution. Suppose you have coded a program to access a server, and things work fine while you are developing the code. During the actual production run, the server is down. And when your program tries to access it, an exception is raised. If you observe, these are not any syntax or semantic errors, but arise due to situation out of the developer's control. For example, the programmer would never know a server's downtime beforehand. But blaming your code failure on environmental issues is not a solution. You need robust programming which takes care of exceptional situations. Such code is known as exception handlers. In our example, good exception handling would be, when the server is down, connect to the backup server or mirror server. To implement this, enter your code to connect to the server. You will check if the server is down. If yes, write the code to connect to the backup server. Such organization of code using if and else loops is not effective when your code has multiple exceptions to handle. Hence, Java provides for inbuilt exception handling, where normal code goes into the try block and exception handling code goes into the catch block. Try block will contain code to connect to the server, and catch block will contain the code to connect to the backup server. In case the server is up, the code in the catch block will be ignored. In case the server is down, an exception is raised, and the code in the catch block will be executed.